When Einstein realized that time elapses more slowly for an object in motion compared to the rate at which it elapses for us here on a stationary clock, he didn't just make a qualitative statement. He made a quantitative statement. He wrote down a formula that tells us how much more slowly time will elapse on that moving object. And if you like equations, the slowdown formula is 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. v is the speed of the object, c is the speed of light. But if you don't really like formulae, let me show you that equation in action just through some visual illustrations. So here is a stationary clock with us on Earth. Here's a clock on a spaceship. Now if the ship is not moving, the two clocks tick off time at exactly the same rate. But now let's give that spaceship some velocity. A thousand miles per hour, you know, reasonably quick speed. Notice that the slowdown while there is just too small for us to see it. That's why we don't know about this slowdown at everyday speeds that we can achieve. But let's take this thousand miles an hour and kick it up to a much higher velocity. A hundred million miles an hour about one-sixth of the speed of light, fast enough to go around the entire Earth in a single second. There is a slowdown on that clock. If you look really closely, kind of squint, you can kind of see it, but still, even at this very high speed, difficult to see, not a big slowdown. So let's kick up the velocity of the ship even higher. Let's bring it to 600 million miles an hour. The speed of light is about 670 million miles an hour. Now at this speed, the slowdown of time becomes obvious, right? This clock is ticking off time much slower than our clock here on Earth. And just to see it even more starkly, let's bring that speed of the ship even higher. Let's put it at 668 million miles an hour, just below the speed of light. And look at how time is elapsing on the spaceship clock very slow compared to the rate at which time elapses on our ordinary clocks here on Earth. And this really illustrates quite wonderfully how we don't know about the slowdown in our bones intuitively because we never achieve speeds anywhere near the speed of light. But if routinely we did travel at speeds near the speed of light, this slowing of time would be obvious to us. This dramatic slowing of time near the speed of light would be intuitive. It would be in our bones.